words for cat food are too sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas adverts for dog food aren't sexy enough by half. <laughs> and all the ones look at the cat kind of moving a bit too slowly towards a plate. <laughs> the owner's also there moving seductively. <laughs> so the owner up and opens up a little foil packet like a condom. <laughs> Opens out this terrine thing onto a plate. Cat walks up to the plate, takes a big bite. Cat's been fully naked this whole time. <laughs> and then after it's for dog food, it's like, oh, it's, it's good for their teeth. <laughs> I don't know, I think there's a middle ground we're missing somewhere. I don't know if rabbit food gets it bang on. How's it going? I'm Daniel as far as I know. I'm from Glasgow, which is a lot like Edinburgh, but worse in every way. And the last time I had a gig in Edinburgh on Tuesday was just after the Queen died. I was running a bit early for the gig, so I thought I'd go along and see some of the festivities. <laughs> I went along, I always wear the same thing to a gig. I was already dressed for the gig, you know, head to knee in black. <laughs> <laughs> in many ways, it's quite appropriate to dress in all blacks in somebody's time, but you might not think shorts are the most appropriate time <laughs> for such a sombre occasion. Well, how many of these are actually trousers at half-mast? <laughs> <laughs>